welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm just doing a voiceover. I have a two for one, so a Dutch pour style painting and then a dirty pour style painting right after this with dried results at the end of the video. So I wanted to just fill you guys in on how I mix these paints. I'm kind of experimenting with a different um, way of mixing. It is the same ingredients that I've been using. But I decided I wanted to, to um, just kind of experiment using them a different way. So I am spreading. This is Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And then the other, um, is, this is a color split. So the other side is Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. So what I'm doing for my DIY pouring medium is what I'm going to call it for now. Um, it's one part golden regular gel gloss gel not to be mistaken for the gloss medium it's the gel that I use so it's one part and then approximately three to four parts flood flow troll the American um, flood flow troll and I mix up a big big batch of that and it's working out fantastic um, the gel and the flow troll mix everything just completely 100% stays put and you'll see at the end of the video it just, the gel kind, it just stabilizes. Like when you're done moving your paints around, that gel really just hangs out in that one spot and doesn't move. Obviously, you have to be level, um, all that. But it is, I'm absolutely loving it and I'm super excited. It is very thick. Now you can adjust, but I wanted to have a thick, creamy, um, it reminds me of string gel. Uh, but it's gorgeous and it's glossy. Um, yeah, I wanted to have a, just one mix where I can use with my pigments and my tube paints. Same ingredients I've been using, just working them um, an easier, different way. And what else? Let's see. So for my pigments, I use that gel gloss uh, watered down mix. I have a big bottle of that now. I just I spent some time mixing and that's what I wet my powders with, the pigments. And then I just add that DIY pouring medium that I made. And it is, I'm telling you, you could use it for almost probably any technique, but it is thick. And so then you can, you know, water down to thin it out. So that, like, that's what I did. So I use probably for my two paints. That is latte, by the way, by this little piggy pigment. So for my tube paints, I probably did about one part paint to four or five um, parts, uh, the, the pouring medium. And yeah, it's just fabulous. I'm loving it. I'm still playing with it. You could totally adjust it as well if you, if it was too thick for you. It's nothing crazy, but you can thin it down um, by just using a little bit less of the gel gloss or you can just make yourself a nice big batch of it and thin down as needed depending on what technique you're doing if that makes sense that is cappuccino by this little piggy pigments and um what else what else yes so super excited about that you guys will see the dried results at the end again the the gel and the flow troll it really just like, I didn't even have to wait. That's Copper by Amsterdam. I didn't have to wait, like, 15 to 20 minutes to do the close-up after the paintings. Because it just kind of, like, it stays. It doesn't, like, spread and develop. Like, that gel really just settles things down. Super excited about it. Um, and if you wanted for, say, you're, if you're doing a Dutch pour or... Anything that you needed your bait, like extra base paint, you could easily just add some more flow troll to extend it to give you more of it. So from what I'm, uh, I've been experimenting with it. What I'm saying is that it is very, um, I don't want to say forgiving, but you can, as far as the measurements go, you can really mess and you kind of get the same, you know, you can add a little bit more of this, a little less of this, and you're getting the same um, results. 
So again, we have oxide black for the base and then titanium uh, buff light for the other side of the base. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous painting. I love it. Turned out really nice. And it was, it went by so fast, I didn't have to do anything to it. So I was like, I got to grab another canvas. So obviously I thinned my paints down with some water um, and just add the water slowly until you get what the consistency you want. I like mine to just kind of marry when I'm doing the Dutch pour, just like marry the stream, like marries into the paint. There's like hardly a mound, but it doesn't sink. It doesn't leave the sinkhole. I'm not too into, I don't, that's too thin for me. Like when the stream drops off the stick into the cup and it sinks, it's just too thin for me. Okay, so we'll see the close-up on this um, with the, you know, just after I've blown it out uh, with the wet result or wet close-up, and then at the end of the video you'll see the dried result with no varnish or anything on it. So I'm just kind of looking at it and deciding if I want to do anything. But I thought it turned out absolutely gorgeous. And I kind of see two faces in there looking at each other. But it's just, a, it's a stunning piece. The colors work so well together. So I'm super excited about it. And I'll probably, this next one will be a little bit longer of a process than this one took me. So... At some stage, I'll throw on some music and you guys can just enjoy the painting and not have to listen to me ramble. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and check out my um, other videos. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. This is with the flash on so you can see the TLPs, the this little piggy pig pigments and the copper just shining. I love that part. Love it. And with the gel and the flow trial, you get some really cool cells and whatnot. So, but yeah, the sparkle is gorgeous. Love it. And I love when you get those, the edges of where you've blown out are just like complete shimmer. I love that. It's my favorite. And I think, yes, now we're going to do, now I didn't add any water to these or thicken them up or thicken, or thicken them up or anything. I just grabbed a canvas and I put some black paint down just a little to like grease it. And I just used my hand with my glove on and spread it around. I don't really have a rhyme or reason for the way I'm dropping my paints into the cup. I did put the a, a big puddle of black in first. I'm just kind of making, this is actually fun, like just pouring some paint in a cup and pouring it out. Um, but yes, and again, we're working on a 16 by 20 inch deep edge canvas as well in this one. Stick around at the end of the video for the dried results. Let me know what you guys think of the paintings. I absolutely love them. This one that you guys are going to see me pour now. I don't know. I absolutely love it. You have to let me know what you think. I think maybe some will like it, some not so much. Um, but I love this one and I'm interested to know what you guys think. And yes, so I'll let you watch and I will jump back in at the end of the video for the dried results. All right, guys, talk soon. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Probably not. I'm just rambling now. Talk soon. Bye. Sometimes I think you like keeping me on the fence. You don't even try it's in your nature to play pretend i can't breathe when you're next to me i am suffocating
Okay, guys, I just wanted to jump in um, and just talk about the tilting. I always like to um, tilt slow until I get to that corner, then I just kind of dump it. Um, nothing crazy, but just dump it over the edge and pull back really quick and then move very slow. Know where the weight of your paint is, like that main puddle that is moving around the canvas, as well as always looking back um, or all around the canvas while you're tilting to make sure nothing is going crazy or going wrong or you don't have a chunk of something in your paint that is completely destroying your cells or your lines, whatever it is. I'm doing, I poured some paint there now just so all the, so that puddle wasn't kind of folding over itself and that it would just help that corner just kind of glide over the edge. Um, and you always want to kind of move back towards the center, that the weight of the paint back towards the center um, and then kind of go in your next direction. You just kind of work it. Um, it. You just really need to go slow and take your time and put it down. Check out your composition. See what you like, what you don't like. If there's something that you're not into, try and pour it off. But you just have to be careful that you're not messing up something on the other side. So just focus. Go slow. And hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'll see you guys at the end of the video for the dried results. Please comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll talk to you guys soon.
All right, guys, so here we have it, the dry result of the first painting that I did in this video. It is gorgeous, and it's not varnished. It just got such a gorgeous shine from that gel and that flow troll, and my pigments and that copper, it's just gorgeous. Everything stayed exactly as I left it. Love, love, love it. Okay, let me show you the next one. All right, and here we go for number two. Dried gorgeous. Can't wait to varnish. Let me know what you guys think. It's truly gorgeous. Love, love, love it. I hope you enjoyed the video, my two pours. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're new and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!